you're giving birth soon, you need to make sure that you are taking ownership of your baby's umbilical cord and placenta. Here's how. The reason I know about this is because an umbilical cord could have potentially saved my younger brother's life. So he had cerebral palsy from a near drowning accident. He just walked into a lake when no one was looking. And then my parents began desperately looking for treatments for cerebral palsy. That's what he got after the near drowning accident. My mom took my younger brother to China. She tried everything in the book and ultimately found that the most promising option for cerebral palsy is using stem cells from a child's own umbilical cord to improve brain connectivity and motor function. Because fun fact, the umbilical cord and the placenta are really rich with stem cells, which are basically like blank cells that can be used to replace and repair damaged cells. So umbilical cords and placentas have been increasingly used to save lives. For instance, this is a story of a young boy named Quentin who used his little sister's umbilical cord and placenta stem cells to help treat his leukemia. The umbilical cord and placenta stem cells have also been used to treat things like HIV, heart disease, liver disease. There's early research looking at autism and type 1 diabetes, most commonly cancers like leukemias and lymphomas, multiple sclerosis, and so many more. So in the case that anyone in your family gets diagnosed with these, you can